Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero. And this week the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super strength. Now, one thing I need when I'm out fighting baddies is a super strong bag that I can store my equipment in. I've been looking online, but I haven't found anything that looks strong enough for my special, but very small nano equipment. So I might need to make my own bag. I've been looking at ways to make strong bags and I found a technique called weaving. Now weaving is a super old technique and was initially used to make strong baskets. We still use it today to make most of the fabric that we wear. Take a look really closely at the clothes that you are wearing right now. You might be able to see individual threads crisscrossing each other. If you can, then it's been woven. Weaving strands together makes a strong fabric because the threads run up and down as well as side to side. A woven fabric has strengths in many directions as well as flexibility. Imagine if your clothes weren't flexible. You would probably walk around like this. That would be not very comfortable at all. Now, while traditionally we used weaving for natural fibers like silk and cotton, we now also make man-made fibers like polyester to weave with as well. I think we should weave a super strong bag out of some old waste. Want to join me? For this experiment, you will need a bit of old plastic. You can use a bin liner or an old shopping bag. Pencil, scissors, ruler, and some thick card. Now tension is really important in weaving, so we're going to start by making a loom. That's a frame that helps us to keep the tension of the strands even while we make our superhero fabric. My loom is a rectangle of cardboard, and you can make yours any size depending on how big you want your weaving to be. My one is 25 centimeters long and 20 centimeters high. Now you're going to put your ruler along one edge and mark every two centimeters across the top and the bottom. Now you're going to make a small cut along every one of those marks in by a couple of centimeters. Okay, so we picked two centimeters, but to be honest, you can make them any distance you want apart. If you make them closer, your fabric will have a tighter weave. Now this is our loom done. Next, we need something to weave with. I'm going to use this old bag for mine. You can make yours out of an old shopping bag or a bin bag like mine. And we're going to need to cut some strips to so take your scissors and then just cut some long strips up the bag like this. You're gonna keep cutting, and if you have different colored plastics, you can put them all together. Okay, now I've got a big pile of strips. You're gonna take your strands, and you're gonna attach them to the loom. Now, because I've got some white ones and some black ones, I've decided to separate them, but you can do any color you like, or keep them all the same color. So I'm gonna take my white strips, I'm gonna put them into the notch at the top, and put them into the notch at the bottom, and then I'm gonna tie a double knot at the back. And I'm gonna keep doing that all the way across until all of my notches have some plastic wrapped around with a double knot. So now you can see that we have these vertical strands. These are called warp strands. And the strands that we're gonna weave left and right are called the weft strands. So I'm gonna take my other color, which is the black ones here, and I'm going to start at one end. I'll start here tie it onto the end of your vertical strand and now we're going to take the other end and we're going to go over the top and then under the next one so i'm going to go over this one under this one over under over under over under like this pull it through and then go under this one that it went over before and then go again. So over, under, over, under, over, under. And then pull this tight. I'm gonna push them up. Now, if you run out, don't worry, take your next strand. You're gonna tie them together, like so. Trim off the bit on the end, and then you can just keep weaving. And you're gonna do this until you get to the very bottom. And every time you go, Go under, over, under, over, under, over, and pull it through. And don't forget to push your weave up so it'll be nice and tight. Okay, you can see I'm almost at the end now. I'll do one final one. I'm gonna go under, over, perfect. Now, to finish this off, you're gonna go around your last one and tie a knot. So I'm gonna go under here like this, 
and then loop it through and then tie the end off. Now I'm going to trim this. We have our weave. Next we want to separate it from our loom. So we're going to cut the back like so and then unhook them. But to keep this tidy, it's easier to unhook them one at a time. So I'm going to unhook the one on the end here and then the one next to it. Now to secure this, you're going to tie these two together with a double knot. Next, unravel the next one and tie that one to the one next to it, like this. I'm going to keep doing this until they're all tied together. Once you've done one side, turn over and do the other side. Okay, last one tied off. So, now you want to cut all the ends off to tighten it up. So cut just above the knots. And now we have our woven fabric. And this is gonna be incredibly strong in all directions. But this is not gonna store anything. I mean, we could use it as a mat, for example. But we wanted to make a pouch. So we're gonna fold it in half, like this. And we're gonna take another long strand of plastic and we're going to weave in between the ends here. I'm gonna tie a little knot. And then I'm going to weave to seal up those ends. So, and then I'm going to weave in and out. And this is going to seal the sides for us so that nothing falls out of our bag. And one final one towards the top. Weave into this gap and then out of the gap. And this time I'm going to go through the loop to tie a knot. And there we have one end sealed. Trim the ends and then do the same on the other side. There we go, trim the ends, and now I have my pouch. Now, if you don't want to weave the size like this, you can always just take the ends if you want to. But what you can see is now I have a super strong pouch. Look, I can even put my hand in here, and it's super strong. Okay, my super strong superhero pouch. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Can I fit all of my superhero equipment into here without it breaking? Well, let's see. Here's my superhero nano magnifying glass. Boop, it fits. And my nano telescope. Boop, it fits. And my nano indenter. Boop, it all fits perfectly. Do you know what? I bet I could even put nano nano girl in here. What do you think? Hey nano nano girl. Look at this. <laughs> yep, she fits perfectly. And now she's well protected too. What was that nano nano girl? <laughs> No, I can't hear her. It looks like my bag is super strong and super quiet as well. I wonder if I could fit a cookie in here. Maybe a rock. I should go find out. See you later.